Yes, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We could not yes. have our girl Phaedra in the house without bringing her over to the table yes. with the rest of our sisters. Down yes. to so we the Yes, we can expand the conversation about know. everything yes. that you have made on. Yes. yes. Well, you know what, Miss Phaedra? I, I swear you got the cutest little sugar cake faces on. I swear oh. I see them down to the social media. The cutest little boys ever. <laughs> yes. What yeah, is man. it like being, um, and I know a lot of mothers out there can identify with you clearly, but what is it like being so busy and having so much on your plate and being a single mom now mm. you know and um well okay first of all I hate it when people say single moms mm -hmm. because I think you can be married and be a single mom you sure oh, can hello, okay. somebody. Okay. so I think you can be, ma you can be married and be single <laughs> now how about it that's a whole nother show that. Shut whole nother show Over there. okay then okay shut up <laughs> that's full circle so, next week not full circle <laughs> so I, you know as a mom you can't do it alone. I mm -hmm. think it takes a village. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we've moved away from that because mm -hmm. you know everything's about social media. But what I try to do is make sure my first priority are my children mm -hmm. because they're my legacy. Mm -hmm. And so I can't be out here looking this good and they not be right. in mm -hmm. tune with me. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, before I do anything, I'm a mom first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, routine. Look you at know, them. The, the crazy so thing cute. is yesterday we were talking about uh, proactive parenting. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes how we can do either too much or too little or are we doing enough or not enough for our kids. What, what's your approach on that? Okay, well, I'm raising black men. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And my approach is really to make sure that they are very aware of who they are yes. as men, as people of color, mm -hmm. as, you know, members of society. So um, being, I guess what people would say, a, a mom, I know that as a woman I can't raise a man because... I'm a woman, mm -hmm. so I make sure that I, I, I make sure I have my brothers, mm -hmm. my pastor, my dad, um, Boy Scouts. I would just put yes. them in the company of very strong men. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Professional men. Yes. Working men. Yes. yes. Men who have alternative careers, you know, mm -hmm. musicians. So I want them to see everybody, but I want people to instill in them work ethic because yeah. I'm wealthy, mm -hmm. but I let them know you are not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you got to work just like I did and get it mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And I think millennials did not learn that. No, they did um, not. Because and I think we have um, given them a little too much. So they right. come mm -hmm. to work thinking they're going to be the CEO. Yeah, right. You need to come to work thinking you're going to make some coffee. Or come to work thinking they don't have to do nothing. Exactly. exactly. Or thinking they, they got a lot of jobs, girl. Yes. So they do think they got a lot of jobs mm -hmm. and they don't really have much. But okay then. Um, so <laughs> let, let, me, let me talk to you a little, a little bit about, you know, little brown boys that's right and how challenging is it to raise little brown boys in this climate well I think it's always challenging only because people of color are obviously treated different and mm -hmm. african-american men have it harder than anyone mm -hmm. and that's why I started my foundation Phaedra Foundation which basically mentors and targets people uh, of color and particularly african-american latin boys and um, so that we can be on equal footing with mm -hmm. mentorships and, and uh, programs during mm -hmm. the summer. But what I do is I explain to my sons about discrimination. Mm -hmm. I explain mm -hmm. to them, you know, they go to an elite private school, mm -hmm. but I, you know, and there's not a lot of African American kids mm -hmm. at yes. the school. Yes. But I explain to them, hey, sometimes people might not like you because of your skin tone, mm -hmm. but you still do 150 percent. Yes, right. You mm -hmm. still show up and show out. And you know that at the end of the day, you are a prince and you are a president. Right. Mm -hmm. And I call them the prince and president so that they know they can be anything. I know that's right. The sky is names the limit. Speaking it. You can't call my child bad. You can't, because their names already speak what they can become. Come on. Oh, you you got to speak right into them. That's what you're doing. Yes, yes. Right. yes. And, and speaking of social media and, you know, the industry and raising young, young men, I raised two, two black boys as well. Right. Or three, I have a stepson as well. And what is it that you do um, as a precaution to kind of shield them from some of the things that go on in your life in mm. the limelight because Ooh, that's, that's tough you know what I'm saying yeah, it you know it, it really is tough but what I say to them they understand because they were born on television mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they understand cameras they understand mics they understand it's for entertainment they mm -hmm. understand that everything you see on TV is not real mm -hmm. unless it's on CNN yeah. <laughs> and so you, I'm very clear with them that 
First of all, I don't allow my children to be on social media. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will give people a taste because people have seen them grow up. So I don't post them a lot, mm -hmm. but I will post milestone moments because right. people obviously yeah. ask about it. Yeah. Um, but they don't have social media accounts. They're not on Facebook. They don't have phones. Mm -hmm. They have iPads. Mm -hmm. We try to limit screen time mm -hmm. as much as possible mm -hmm. because I am a mom. And yes, you know, we you know, yes. You know, they take some some time that all iPad the is just mm -hmm. the babysitter. Put some learning <laughs> stuff on it and, and hey, yes. it is what it is. Yes, yes. yes. So I'm, I'm just very cognizant of what they are seeing, mm -hmm. you know, how much TV they can watch. You know, when they look at TV, what it is they're watching. Right. My children don't watch reality TV. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's because right. that's I not don't for either. children. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right, oh, that's right. right. Yep. You know, uh, Phaedra, uh, Phaedra, after everything you, you you've been through, I mean, of course, we met. Mm -hmm. Years ago, um, yes, and we go yes. back to <laughs> young girls yes. and guys. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes you oh. right, you right. What have you been able to learn about yourself throughout the entire journey? Everything um, that you've been able to go through. I'm resilient. Mm. Mm. That's good. That's a good. I got word. the Midas touch. Mm. All right, yes, uh, uh, I'm here for that. <laughs> yes, that's what I do know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm will, I, I am a, I tell people I'm a workhorse mm -hmm. and that's why I'm a wealthy woman mm -hmm. because I don't mind taking out the trash. I don't mind doing every job from answering the phone to going and picking up the body. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to get right. mine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, people say, well, you know, you can do this and you can do that. I'm third generation college graduate. So I'm not new to this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm true to this. Yes. Oh. And so my parents have done things so that I would not have to do other things. And so I don't take that for granted. So mm -hmm. I instill education into my family and try you know, I do a scholarship mm -hmm. for the University School mm -hmm. of Law. Mm -hmm. I'm the first woman to endow a scholarship for the Georgia Law School. Yes. Mm -hmm. UGA. Yes. Because I want people to know that there are other women who have come up that are giving back mm -hmm. yeah. right. and want mm -hmm. to pull someone up. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's I have good. on. I'm resilient. Yes. yes. No matter what happens, I'm winning. I know. Hey. Hello. And on that good Baby, note. she yes. said all people down okay. the day. Yes. Yes. That's not song. All I do is win, win, win on that. Trina, they both, that's something for me. Yes. Oh, wow. That's, that's right. obviously Just Phaedra. In case the people thought you were doing bad because you're not on the house of Okay. Uh, <laughs> five, two, and a mile. Yeah. <laughs> You better. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today, Phaedra. As you, um, you know, you gotta bump us out with your model pose. We love hanging with you. Happy holidays to you and your family. Yes. Can we give it up one more time? Yes. We're after seven. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everybody. At Happy, Happy New Year, Year, Sister Circle. Yeah, That's right.